garden today is a landmark in the long history of the Royal National Rose Society and represents the culmination of an immense amount of thought, effort and work over the past three years. From a barren waste of mud has emerged a contemporary garden of stunning design, filled not only with roses, but many companion plants, most of which have been so generously given by the British Rose Trade and leading nurseries. To frame the plants and complete the picture, classic garden elements have provided the unique iron pergola and various other climbing structures, and Rolorn, the immaculate turf, for which we are most appreciative. The board extends its grateful thanks to all those people who have contributed in so many different ways to the making of this garden, and especially for the support of numerous sponsors. It is hoped that not only will our garden bring in much needed revenue to the society, but that it eventually becomes an additional and special attraction for visitors to the historic city of St Albans. As you will see today, an enormous amount of work has already been done, but there is still much to do to achieve our ultimate aim of having a living dictionary of roses. We hope that society members and visitors alike uh, will enjoy what they see now, but that they also appreciate the phrase work in progress, which will certainly apply over the next year or so, with further planting in beds where specific roses could not be sourced in time, and general development of the garden towards maturity. Of course, we look forward to your return visits on a regular basis to see the results of our labours. When I had the honour of being elected president of the RNRS two years ago, it was my dearest wish that the oldest specialist plant society in the world would again take its rightful place as a respected body in the horticultural world and, in metaphorical terms, rise like a phoenix from the ashes. With the opening of this new garden today, and despite so many setbacks along the way, I think the Phoenix is now making pretty good upward progress. Um, <laughs> here, um, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Peter Seabrook, a distinguished gardener who is so well known and respected that he really needs no introduction. We are honoured that Peter has agreed to come and perform the opening ceremony 